I'm going to de demonstrate hilling. I've got the hiller set up on the uh, well actually right now I have it in the wrong setting. So for hilling, you want this uh, pin in the back hole and on the highest of these tubes. The middle one is less aggressive. The bottom one is for flattening out an area you've already hilled. We'll do that in a minute. But this one is the one for hilling. Digs in the most. So I'm going to do a couple passes. This soil here is quite dry. So this is a challenge. and some of it's been loosened with the broad fork, some of it hasn't. So um, I'll show you how it goes. You want the handles at about the right place. And remember, tighten these lower bolts tight. So you can see that's throwing quite a bit of dirt. And the reason this works so well is that this part right here, which we call the land, it, it keeps the wheel hole going straight even though there's a lot of pressure on this side pushing it over. So we're going to sort of pretend we're healing up some uh, plants right here, like potatoes or something. Now, if you encounter tight dirt, it's going to uh, be difficult. Your soil needs to be somewhat loose. So this pass will actually do the hilling on the other. Takes a couple passes. So, you can see that happened pretty quickly. We went from flat to uh, hill.
It does take some effort, but it's a lot less effort than using a hand hoe. Although you may have to hoe a little bit here and there to finish it out. Around your potatoes. So that's the hiller in action. Now I'm going to take the uh, different setting and we're actually going to knock that down. So I pull the pin, move it down to this bottom one. Get the pin in there. And then I tilt it to the side. And it will flatten that back out. So it makes pretty quick work of unhilling. And then to get it perfectly flat, you're going to have to rake it some. But you can see that basically you move most of the dirt just like that. And then while I'm doing this, let me just show you one other thing. This is a prototype. This is our 16 tine cultivator. It's really more of a rake. So this can finish out your flattening process. It would help making a bed, uh, making a seed bed. There we go. Yep. This one is so big that we added little little feet here that are depth guides with a thumb screw. And you could go a little deeper if you wanted to, but I have it set up just, just to kind of barely flatten things out. Okay, that's it. July 8th, 2015. Little uh, shot of the Hiller from Valley Oak Tool Company. Thanks for watching. ValleyOakTool.com. Bye.